morning everyone and welcome back to the garden now the weather's been kind to us today we've had two days of a lot of rain which has done the garden very very good it was lovely to see the garden actually getting wet again after that long summer now with it being a nice day and we couldn't do it obviously when we did the cuttings now somebody did ask me what rooting powder I was using on the cuttings. Well, I can see it now in the greenhouse and it's Vitax organic rooting powder. As you can see, the rhubarb is now finished. So it's best to lift these off and clean any weed off. I see there's a nettle or two in it. We'll take those out and we'll put some manure on around around the crowns and that'll be it for this year then now some of these look all right but i can assure you they're, they're so soft they're totally unusable now look there it's a shame but i haven't touched this since as you know july because it's given it chance to build the root up for next year but they all just break off, a lot of them are rotten anyway so they just take most of these are just breaking off at surface level but you see the soft we've had quite a good crop this year, we've got quite a bit in the freezer let's be looking forward to some winter puddings Most of them are rotten and they just break off at the top. But if you left these, the uh, the slugs will be in there and it'd be quite a mess. Just pick them. Some are a bit squidgy. But onto the compost heap, they rot down very quick. Clean them all up. There's the metal lot, so see if I can get his breath. There we are, I've got his root out, so I should throw that over there, then pop him on the incinerator when I go over. So there's one done. I should do the other one. My the raking I'm going to do will be mainly by hand, like that. You see, soon get it clean. So I'll finish taking off, and then we'll get the manure. Cleared all the old rhubarb off the ground now. It was quite rotten. It's quite a messy job, but. It's better in the compost bin than rotten here. What I did find, because of the walnut tree in next door's garden, and the squirrels are going up and fetching the walnuts off. While I was cleaning off, I found one or two walnuts under the leaves. And not very good at burying them. There's two there, look, that I found. They weren't together, I've put them together. And if you look there, there's another one only half buried. So what we'll do, we'll take those three and we'll leave them. And when the squirrels come to bury some more, they'll perhaps see them and take them and bury them properly. They're on the rhubarb where the crowns are so I won't be putting manure on it so they'll probably take them and bury them in amongst my onions and then I won't be very pleased. This is the manure I'm going to put on as you can see it's very well rotted it's uh, it's the best I've seen it for a long while we'll put it if you see there's one crown there and one crown where those walnuts are, that's the other crown. So we'll just put it on like a figure of eight round it. 
so we'll start it in the middle there's no need to put huge amounts on we can always put some more on in the spring if we wish I'll put that side on first There was actually loads of straw in this, but I think the straw is rotted. And we've just got the combination of well-rotted straw and manure left. Looks like I might need another wheelbarrow load. You see how it runs down? So when we get the fork, I'll just flick it back up with a bit of soil and it holds it together. Obviously over the years we've been putting manure on and we're actually lifting the soil all the time. So I have to keep flicking the bit on. I'll saw the flat and it'll just run off. Let's get it done. I'll just do this side as well before I rake it up. I think most of it will run down the hill, but we'll be alright in a minute. It's lovely compost. Very nice. I don't know what that was in it. I'll spread this one barrel load round the lot and then we'll just earth it up a bit. <laughs> oh, there. There's a bit more of that side, I think that will do. That's all this manure. It's beautiful manure. It's actually like compost. It's that good. So now I'll rake it up and hopefully that'll be it till the spring. Then we'll probably put some more of that on. And if you haven't got that, some fish blood and bone just to wake it up. I'm going to use the four prong. I was going to fork it up, but I think the ground's a bit wet for forking it up. We'll just drag it up with the fork. Yeah, that's what it wants, look. Not onto the crown, so whatever you do. We'll do this end and then I'll do that end. I'll just pull this side on. Under those leaves, I don't know if you can see, but the soil was still quite dry. But that's nothing on the crowns. This is how I pulled that manure onto the onto the rhubarb, and also you'll get the. I guarantee you, the blackbirds will be here having a look, and the thrushes will want to come and have a look. And when the squirrels come, I hope you rebury them. By the time we've had a winter on it, it'll be nice and smooth, like it was when we started. But at least the, the manure has gone in. Now that's the rhubarb sorted for the season and ready for overwintering. If you wish in the spring, you can get an old dustbin with full of straw and put it over the top and you'll get some very early rhubarb. But we don't do that, we just let it come up naturally. But it can be forced. If you've got a tin now, like this, 
Not yet though, wait till spring and then cover it with the bin. Now that'll be it for this time. Job done. And next time or over Halloween anyway in the better weather that we say we've got them we will try and get that strawberry bed finished. And that's the next job I think but there's plenty to do. That'll be it for now. We'll see you soon. Take care everyone. Bye now.